September 15th and I made a video in the bathroom but I don't know if it'll show up or, or work out because um, I haven't previewed it yet but uh, Josh and I are on the way to Red Lobster for my birthday <laughs> um, we live about 30 to 45 minutes from Red Lobster so that's pretty cool uh, we have been there once before and um, for my birthday I get to choose a meal so I chose Red Lobster because I really enjoyed it and I love seafood uh, and it is um, Saturday and we're going Saturday because we have to work on Monday and we don't want to go at the end of a long day we'd rather go on a nice quiet got nothing going on kind of day and uh, so I guess I will record once we get there and show off our delicious yummy food I already know what I want which is um, what I ordered last time which is is one of their feasts um, comes with like crab legs and lobster tail and shrimp and like a side and all that stuff it was amazing I'll probably wait till I get home to eat the crab legs though because I made a righteous mess last time <laughs> and I think what are you gonna get um, steak yeah but yeah so um it'll be nice and I will check back in when we get to Red Lobster and hope it's not too busy but it shouldn't be here you are <laughs> Josh's salad, and my salad, and our free bread, and his sugary tea, and my water. <laughs> so Josh got one of the feasts, do you remember what it's called? Seafarer's Feast. Seafarer's Feast. And uh, it comes with sh pretty much everything mine does, except mine's bigger. <laughs> and broccoli. And there's rice under there. And, yours has, uh, and I got the ultimate feast, because mine comes with crab legs. And I got a double order of broccoli. That I, I was eating the um, salad. The salad is really good. I'm not usually a salad person, but I wish I could have eaten all that. But then I wouldn't have been able to eat any of this. This is way too much food for me. So um, I'll probably do what I did last time, which is just pack it up, take it home, and eat it over the course of a few days because um, you know my, my uh, stomach's very small and I can't fit a lot of food in. But um, from memory, it was de delicious. The salad is delicious. And um, we both love our broccoli. Yeah. So, um, thanks. Um, it's just time to eat now. <laughs> All right. Oh, damn, look at that truck. There's a big old truck on wherever it is, way up there. Um, Anyway, we just left Red Lobster. It is 7.38. I am super full. I ate uh, maybe a quarter to half of my salad, one biscuit, and my crab legs. I think I ate one piece of shrimp too, but I didn't get to touch anything else. I'm, I'm stuffed. Um, Josh ate every single thing. <laughs> he always does that. He says, Why did I eat so much? God, I'm so full. I feel like a fatty. <laughs> and then um, an hour later, he'll be hungry and he'll be like, Damn, I should have saved my food. And I'll be sitting there with food for days. I've got so much food in that fridge because we go out to eat and stuff, and I just can't finish it all in time. And I've got food backed up for weeks and weeks and weeks because I just can't eat it in time. Um, but my eyes are still like, I've still got a fat mind. I still want all the food, but I can't physically eat any of it. So I look at it and it's like, that would be good. I take two bites and I'm done. But um, I cannot get over how delicious that salad was. It was amazing. Yeah, the crab legs were good. This time we got the uh, nutcracker crab cracker thing. Do I have food in my mouth? Mm. It's just shine. <laughs> but, um, it was just shine. <laughs> uh, I usually have to crack it with my teeth. That's how I was raised. Um, that's how my mom always did it when we made, like, Korean crab or whatever. We just, we always eat it with our, our hands and, um, put it in our mouth and just crack it that way. It's, it's just the way we were raised. Um, we always, we, we have always done it. 
but this time for the first time ever I got to use the um, the crackers and that was pretty cool because it made it so much easier to open the crab claws and stuff so um now we are at QT Josh is gonna run inside to go get his cancer <laughs> love you <clears throat> and uh, then we're gonna head off to Walmart there are no movies in the theaters right now that I want to see um, we saw the nun a couple weeks ago it was pretty good or a week ago or whatever I really like that um, I still have really simple tastes I still love my Walmart so um, we're just gonna go to Walmart look around at the Halloween stuff and other stuff and then we're gonna go home I mean my birthday's technically not for two more days but we're gonna you know we're, we're kind of celebrating today like I said he's got me some presents I'm not sure when I'm gonna open them um, he hasn't given them to me yet so I don't know which one's birthday and which one's Christmas but all in all I'm happy it's a very simple birthday but I'm with the man I love, my husband, I don't need the party my life, life. I, I, I'm happy exactly where I am, and here's to turning 42. <laughs> Alright, I think I mentioned the Sam's Club pizza in one of my other parts of my video. We went and picked it up for my birthday um, instead of going out to eat. I mean, we are at Red Lobster picking up salad. Josh went in to pick up the salad. It's just amazing, but I want you to look at this. This is a cheapy old $8.99 pizza. We, we didn't ask for anything special. We said half supreme, half pepperoni. And look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. I always run into problems with places not giving me enough pepperoni or enough cheese. Even when you order extras and they charge so much. And this, I didn't ask for extra sauce, extra cheese, nothing. And this is how it comes. This is like the best pizza I have ever eaten. And I just wanted to share that. This this pizza is amazing. Going to show you guys what Josh gave me for my birthday yesterday. He gave them to me after midnight, so it's technically my birthday. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the beautiful card he got me. He's like me, he picks out cards in five seconds and it's always the perfect one. Yep. Um, so it says, to my wife, my best friend, and it's I got glitter on it. And then this is the inside. It is the sweetest thing. It's a beautiful card. I really loved it. Um, let's see. I'll start with the disappointing one first. This would have been an awesome present. I do love it. He got me this restyle necklace, but unfortunately it came broken. It's not his fault. They sent it like this. This, um, this side right here is completely snapped off. They have the, this is the other side of the chain, but it doesn't even have the hook part on it. Um, wherever it is right here I'm holding it with no. my hand so it's like this but it needs that big hook and it's that snapped off and it was nowhere in the package but this is really cool I really really like that I would have been wearing it today if I could have but unfortunately it's broken so we're trying to get a replacement for it along with that he got me this other restyle beautiful bat necklace and uh, I didn't wear this today just because I wanted uh, to put it in the video there's white doggy hair on everything, but this is really nice. That's that's light, but it's nicely detailed. It is so cool. Um, he got me this Galaxy bath bomb that I'm going to use. This is from some place called Soapy Shop, and this is what it looks like. Uh, it is. It smells like sweetly perfumed. I can't really tell what it smells like. It's not fruit. It's not like cupcake or fruit or anything. It's not candy. It's some kind of candy. Kind of candy-ish, but it's also kind of like perfumey, like perfume, not you know musky in a way. I can't really describe it. It's like a sweet musk, but um, it's it's pretty heavy. I'm not really 
familiar with bath bombs as I don't normally buy them. I love them, but they usually cost so much I can't justify spending for something that's just going to vanish and be gone <laughs> in one use. So, uh, but for special occasions, this is really cool. Um, <clears throat> he got me this badass heavy stone plaque. This is a quote from it, of course, Pennywise. The only thing with this is that this quote is wrong. It's supposed to say, I'm, ev I'm everything you ever were afraid of, but it's not. They reversed it, which yeah. once you see it, you can't really unsee it, but as a whole, kind of yeah, as a whole, I really love it. I love the lettering. The lettering is beautiful. And even though I complained about those two things, that doesn't mean I don't love them, because I do. It's just, it's stuff that he and I both noticed, so I'm just mentioning it. But I, I really do love the lettering. I wish I could write like that. I love that font. So we're going to hang that up. I gave him an early Christmas present. Um, let's see. <laughs> it's hanging up there, and it's, uh, excuse uh, his, his drinks, not mine. Um... Oh. I got him a Tim Curry autograph up there, so we can hang it with that. <laughs> that looks really bad. You've got two monsters and your Coke Zero and your XL. Um, so aside from that, he got me this Candy Crush Cloudy Cupcake Body Mist. And it smells uh, kind of alcoholy, but sweet. I love, love, love sweet smelling stuff, so... This goes with my collection of amazing, sweet-smelling stuff. He also got me this, which is Britney Spears' Dark Fantasy or Midnight Fantasy. Um, I was originally in love with a regular fantasy, and um, somebody had bought me a Midnight Fantasy smaller bottle, and I was like, oh my god, I love that more. So he got me this, which is cool. This will probably last me a couple of years, because I still have one from four years ago that's not empty yet, because I use it so sparingly. Um, he got me these, which are Demonia Swing, uh, 8 something, I don't know, it's written on the box, but these are the ones with the metal plates, and I have had these on my watch list for years and years and years, ever since I got my first pair of Demonia boots back when my dad died in 2008. I'd seen the ones with the metal, and I've wanted to get my hands on them, and I haven't been able to, so I finally got them. Now, these boots were made really stupidly, and we freaked out because it was past the window of return, but um, the tongue is sewn, usually. There's a sew mark here somewhere where it was stitched together, and the tongue is sewn in such a way that it leaves a gap like this, unless you have stick legs, which I do not. And the only way to get the tongue to cover your whole leg is to cut it. And I learned that from going onto Amazon and reading the comments on how to make these boots fit when you have big legs. And my legs aren't even that big. They're big, bigger than normal girls, but they're not big to the point where I should have had this much trouble. But they fit now, so I wore them out today and it was great having boots on again. This is where they usually stitch. So you have all this right here that you can't use if you leave it stitched. And you just snip it and then you can cover the whole thing, which is cool. And I was nice and tall in them. Uh, he got me this, which was also something I had wanted and I forgot all about. But this is a bust head bank. Now there's no hole for the coins. You have to open it on the bottom and put your money in there. But it's uh, it's very well made, well detailed. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a nice piece to go with my Pop Funkos and stuff. And um, I really, I was really impressed by the way this looks. This is really cool. Yeah, just I'm glad you like it. And lastly, he got me this doll that I have been wanting for also a long time, not not hugely long because it hasn't been out that long, but I've been wanting her since I saw her. So Ever After High, this is what the box usually looks like. It's a big old box like this. It was actually hard to figure out how the hell to open it without tearing the box. It's just, it's the same on the front and the back. It's just a big rounded box. Um, oh, did I not zoom out? Nope. 
There you go. So it's a big rounded box like this. Yeah. And inside of it is the Raven Queen from Ever After High. And I have one or two Ever After High dolls, but they don't look like this. This is what it looks like in the front. And then you just take off this little cardboard and it has the story, her story behind it. And this is what she looks like. And she is gorgeous. She's so well made. I think she's absolutely beautiful. And she's holding like the little candy apple skull and her dress is all full of sequins and glitter and sparkles. She's just really nice. I love this doll so much. I can't wait to display her. And uh, I actually have a couple of other things that he got me that he gave me early because we were really bad when it comes to presents. We, we say we're going to hold them for Christmas or birthdays, but then we end up just opening them very, very early. So I'm probably going to pause real quick and grab the other stuff he's given me early. Alright, so he also got me the Death Note complete collection. Now, it was pretty funny because we went to Barnes & Noble and he actually bought me this because he forgot that he had already bought it for me and had it saved for Christmas. So since there was two of them, he just went ahead and gave it to me. So I have one that's open and this one's for display because by that time, again, there was no turning it turning it in. Pebbles! No. Stop that! She's getting into his food. Um, he bought me Pennywise, Pop Funko. I want to collect the whole series is what I'm trying to do. You will. <laughs> um... And uh, he bought me the Castiel with wings, which I had been trying to get. So um, I had been looking for this since I was in New Zealand. They sold out everywhere. So hard to find. And what sucks is that when we got it, the box is all crunched up. It's crunched up there. It's crunched up here. It's all folded in. So he was really unhappy with that. So that's why he gave it to me early because the box is kind of... I don't want to give it to you early. <laughs> bad yeah but i'm still happy that i got him i've been after him for so long i never thought i would get a hold of him he got me a cherry a cherry vanilla or no this is just a cherry spray because i love cherry scents and he also gave me this cherry vanilla spray this is pretty cool this is really sweet like i've worn this and i've gone to the store and people are like oh my god you smell so good <laughs> It's supposed to be double strength, and this is because uh, Walmart used to sell a cherry vanilla perfume, and I didn't know they no longer sell it, and that's considered, like, a rare item now that's worth hundreds of dollars, and luckily I still have, like, two bottles. I could sell them for quite a bit, but I'm not going to because I love them so much. Um, he bought me this Monster High Luna Matthews. I have been after her for a while. I saw her at store New Zealand once. I didn't buy her, and I never saw her again. Never. But I've I had my eye out for her, and he remembered, and he got her for me. <laughs> He's sitting over there smiling. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then he got me this, which is even more of a wow, because uh, this is Serena Von Boo. I had wanted her ever since I saw. A picture of her I've never even seen her in stores I've never seen her anywhere she's actually the reason I started collecting monster high dolls because I saw her and I was like holy cow she looks awesome and I just I really 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 wanted one and finally the first one I got the first one I had my eye on is the last one I got so I'm super super stoked to finally have her I'm such a child um, I don't know why he gave me this one early but he did this Living Dead doll, Umbral. She's, she looks pretty cool. She's all in black and just red eyes. I love Living Dead dolls. I can't wait for my stuff to come from New Zealand and he can see everything. It should be here in about two weeks, maybe three weeks. My stuff should be arriving and um, we're going to go through everything and he can see my collections of everything, all my junk. <laughs> and then lastly, he got me this. Um, this was funny because I had this on my watch list everywhere and I was like, I really want this, I really want this. And I think I said, 
you know what? It's like $30, $40. I'm just going to buy it. And he's like, oh. And so he had to give it to me early because mm -hmm. if not, I would have ended up buying it for myself. But um, I don't often get to get Living Dead Dolls anymore. It's gone to Pop Fungos because they're cheaper. But this one is badass. I really, really like the way he looks. And I'm glad I finally got him. With my stuff in New Zealand, I know I've got the Pennywise, or not the Pennywise, the Hellraiser one. I never got to see him in person because I'd already left for America before that one came in. Um, so that'll be cool. I'll get to see what that one looks like. And uh, that's my birthday. It, I've got the best presents I've ever gotten for my birthday this year. And we're going to have a uh, strawberry shortcake for cake. We went to Red Lobster for dinner, and we're just watching movies and staying home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, now for extra bullshit. I bought this from... I got my slippers. <laughs> I bought this from um, a supermarket, and this smells like cinnamon so strongly. I bought one for the bathroom now. This is the second one I've bought for the living room. It smells so good. It's just like, like, like a sprig of cinnamon, basically, and uh, it's a, it's a pretty decent size. It's not huge. It's like three ninety nine, and um, it makes the whole house smell amazing. It's just saturated with scents. I've never bought anything that's like scented like that, so that's pretty cool. Found these at Walmart, and they were only at one Walmart. I went to another one that was closer, and they didn't have it, so I'd go all the way back to the other one. And these are called Lip Bangs Lip Freak, the strongest buzzing lip balm in the whole world. And these are the four flavors that they have. I went back, last time I didn't get this one, so I got this one today. So this is Coco Loco Mint, Cinnamon Mint, Very Sinister, and Bubble Trouble. And this here claims that it will make your lips tingle with the strongest tingle you've ever felt. It says, just pucker up and smear this awesome balm on your kisser. Within a minute, your lips are going to freak out. We're talking about a crazy, vibrating buzz that isn't like anything you've ever felt before. Beware not for crybabies. Consider yourself warned, lip freak. Feels electric, super powerful, 100% natural, super moisturizing. Okay, so, I've tried all of them, except for this one, because I didn't have it, but I smelled it, and it smells amazing. Ooh, you're sexy. <laughs> um... The bubble one definitely smells the strongest. It smells so good. It's just pure bubble gum. Uh, the other ones, they all smell good. These are actually flavored. They have a strong flavor as well, and it's it's usually you buy stuff and it smells good but doesn't taste like anything. These taste and they smell. They're about $3 a piece, and as far as the buzzing, it buzzes like crazy. I've kissed Josh with it on, and it's made his lips buzz. You wipe it off and it still buzzes. And it takes about 15 to 30 seconds and your lips will start tingling. And it's not just a, it's like a, like you're getting electrocuted. It feels like when your foot falls asleep and you have pins and needles all throughout, like millions of itty bitty pins and needles. That's what this feels like. It's a whole bunch of vibration all through your mouth and it almost hurts it's like almost uncomfortable it vibrates so strongly um it doesn't just tingle it, it literally does feel like you are being electrocuted it's the strangest sensation ever but it, it and, and because it tastes good you want to lick your lips but then that vibration will be on your tongue it's really weird so i've got two of each of these now because i probably won't buy them again i want one to use and one to keep back because they're hard to find but it's it's uh, a nice thing to buy just to experience it. This is really, really crazy. I just noticed that this box is dented. I'm not happy about that. If I'd seen that in the store, I wouldn't have bought it. Look, my box is dented. Damn it. But anyway, um, yeah, these I, I, I do recommend getting these at least once if you can find them because they smell amazing. They taste amazing, and they do make your lips vibrate. These are kind of like a light green color, pale white to green. They do not color your lips at all. They just it just looks like normal chapstick that smells so good and makes your lips freak out for 
for quite a while. My lips were vibrating for almost an hour, even after wiping them off. So I, I don't know what's in it that makes your lips do that, but it is pretty cool that it works like it says. And uh, that's about it. I might take a picture after I um, make the strawberry shortcakes just to share them. And I think that's it. Do you have anything you want to say? Oh, let me open up. up. There you go. It's happy birthday, and I love you. Aww. Again. And I love you again, too. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. But all right, that's it. And I guess I will catch up with everybody um, whenever I upload the Carowinds video and the other random nothing videos that we have. All right. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Devils.